first thing first thank you so much for the support that you guys have been giving me and i'll keep uploading videos so that they can help you in some way coming back to the video i have uploaded a ux phase of the case study in previous videos you can watch it here or here somewhere for this video i will be going through the ui phase of the case study in this i will be designing the app in figma so watch till last and see the actual result how it turned out Before sketching, I am doing some brainstorming and looking for some inspirations. The first thing to do before you get into the UI design is to sketch out the screens so that you know the placement of the elements and the path to walk on. Seeing an empty canvas can make you feel helpless sometimes. So get your pen and paper and start sketching. A medium fidelity wireframe is a step up from its low fidelity counterpart. Medium wireframes will have more details. Let's take a break and have something to drink. This channel is just for you guys and I am listening to all the good suggestions you have for me. I am improving my audio as well as video quality. Are you struggling to learn UX UI design or you don't know what to learn and where to learn from? Well, I have something for you. I give shout out to Pratik Vishwakarma who curated this amazing ebook to learn UX UI design. You can find all the processes, articles, YouTube videos and much more in just one place. And at the end of the book, you will be able to create an amazing case study that can help you in getting a good job. You can download this book on Gumroad. The link is in the description. Go check it out. For the first 20 members, there is a 75% discount. So what are you waiting for? Go download the book right now. Let's get back to Figma and design. While designing, you should always focus on the accessibility first. Make it easy to understand and use. Let's go out and have some caffeine.
here is the final design if you guys liked it do subscribe to the channel and like the video leave your comments in the comment section